your favorite pair of headphones into a world-class studio using Immerse Virtual Studio All Access plugin. These days, many of us are mixing and mastering in all sorts of different locations without an acoustically treated studio, often on headphones because we're on the go or our neighbors need us to be quiet. No matter where you are mixing, all you need is your favorite DAW, your headphones, and you'll be mixing in the sweet spot of a pro studio of your choice. You'll get to hear how your mix stands up in the studios of Grammy award-winning engineers and producers. But how can you have an accurate studio experience on a pair of headphones? You've got to bring your ears with you. From just a single picture of your right ear, Embody's artificial intelligence algorithms create your personalized profile and transport you into a world-class studio that's tuned for your ears. Today I'll show you how to set up your personalized profile and we'll take a look at all the features in Immerse Virtual Studio. First, let's get you all set up. You can download directly from the Embody website. Select Immerse All Access. Scroll down and you can select your plan. For a two week free trial, you can download right away and select Windows or Mac installer. Follow the instructions on the installer. Once complete, launch your DAW. Today, I'll be showcasing in Ableton. However, the installer includes AAX, VST3, VST, and Audio Unit, so you can use Immerse Virtual Studio in Logic, FL Studio, Cubase, Nuendo, Pro Tools, whichever DAW is your favorite. Go ahead, launch it, and follow along with me. Since Immerse Virtual Studio is a stereo monitoring plugin, you'll want to place the plugin on your stereo master fader track after all of the other plugins. Every DAW has a stereo master fader track. Sometimes you'll have to create it. In Ableton, I can actually find it down here at the bottom. Once I select the track, I'll navigate Plugins, VST3, Embody, and double click on Immerse Virtual Studio. Enter your email address and click the login button. You'll receive a pin in your email, copy and paste it to the pin field. Here you'll see a QR code. I recommend clicking to watch the demo video, but I'll walk you through the process here. Grab your smartphone, open up the camera, and point the camera directly in front of the QR code. You'll see a link pop up on the top of your phone. Click that link to open a tab, and be sure to allow camera permissions. You'll see a sample image, you can click OK to remove that. Now you're going to want to bring the camera so that it's level with your face and your whole face fills the screen. You don't want it tilted above or below, just straight on. Then make sure that your ear doesn't have any hair on it. And turn your head to the left. Click anywhere to take your picture. You're going to want to check that the lighting is good, that there's no blurriness, and that the size of the image is pretty close to the sample image. If everything looks good, go ahead and click Yes, Proceed to submit your image. Once you see the success screen, you can click Done, or sometimes it'll catch it before you click Done and already start downloading. Now you're all set up, click Get Started. Since this plugin is primarily oriented for monitoring your mix, it's not recommended to render it out to your final mix or master for delivery, unless you're looking for some sort of special effect on a track. So please do remember to bypass the plugin or turn it off completely before bouncing or rendering your audio. In Ableton, I'll do that just by clicking here to disable the plugin. Immerse Virtual Studio is a headphone experience, and you'll notice in the upper left corner, you can select your favorite headphones. They're organized by brand. Each model is tuned specifically to sound great with Immerse Virtual Studio. If you happen to not see your brand or your specific headphone model, please click on the other headphones. Now here you can see close back, open back, in-ear monitor or a Model X, which is based on the Harman curve. Now, today I'm working with the Sony MDR7506. 
I noticed that Sony's not on the list right now. I know that this is actually a closed back headphone, so I'm gonna select generic closed back. If you're not sure if your headphone is closed back or open back, go ahead and check with the manufacturer. Be sure to check back regularly for updates. We're always adding newly mastered headphone models. After you've selected your headphones, you'll notice down here you have a couple of view options. For example, if you're working on a laptop or a smaller screen and you need a little bit more real estate. Now let's take a closer look at some of the studios that we currently have available. We have the Echo Bar Studio A and B. And if you're not familiar with the Echo Bar, it's the studios of Eric Rikers and Bob Horn. And they have mixed, produced, and engineered for some really amazing artists like Earth, Wind & Fire, Everclear, Usher, Herbie Hancock, Snoop Dogg, Michael Jackson. The list goes on and on and on. These rooms are really precisely designed and tuned by Eric. They're gonna be a very acoustically neutral space Space to work in. Eric also happened to design Dave Pensado's studio. Fun fact. One of the great things about listening in Echo Bar Studio B, which is Bob Horn's studio, is there's these massive, really beautiful sounding Augsburger speakers. But if you move your mouse over to the middle, you'll notice these little Eve speakers. These are really useful when you want to hear how your mix collapses into a narrower stereo field, more similar to a consumer device. Below that, you'll see the Diamond Control Room at the SAE Expression College in Emeryville. They have this beautiful SSL 9000 board, and you'll be able to listen through these Dynaudio speakers, which are right on top of the board. But if you move your mouse above that, you'll notice these Meyer soffit mounted speakers, which are also great sounding, a little bit more bright and full frequency. And I recommend checking out both of those different sets of speakers. Below that, you'll see the Spitfire Studio from Warren Huart. He's a multi-platinum producer who's worked with Aerosmith, The Fray, and mixed a lot of soundtracks for film and TV. You might also know him from the Produce Like a Pro YouTube series. His studio comes out of Laurel Canyon, and he also has two different sets of speakers here, the Focals and the Genelex. Personally, when I'm mixing live drums, I reach for the Focals in the Spitfire studio. Maybe it's because Warren's a rocker and he mixes a lot of drums, but they sound really clear and amazing in this room. Last but not least, we have Music Friends. It's the studio of Grammy award-winning mixer, producer, and engineer Carlos de la Garza, who's worked with Paramore, Best Coast, Bad Religion, and most recently, the latest Haley Williams album. His studio features the very nice Wunder audio console and some lovely PMC speakers and some slightly brighter Unity speakers. As you noticed, when I scroll over the speakers, you can select a different pair. Also, that's available down here in the studio selector. Let's talk about the ambient slider a little bit. You'll notice as I select different studios, they have different default levels. Also, once you start listening, you'll notice that the ambient slider might do more to the sound, change it more, depending on how live the studio is. So for example, the Echo Bar studios are a relatively dead room compared to, for example, Spitfire, where if you move the ambient slider up, you're gonna hear a lot more of that liveness of the room. Below the Spitfire studio is a master gain, if you'd like to adjust that, and some dB meters. In the next tab, you'll see the limiter. I recommend when you first start listening, bypass the limiter to get the purest, best quality sound. If you're experiencing any distortion on your signal output, depending on your audio output device, you may need to engage the limiter. Also, if you're looking to maintain a very precisely similar peak output level as your original mixes, go ahead and engage the limiter. Otherwise, it can be really helpful to listen without it. On the settings wheel, you'll notice some additional advanced settings to really fine tune the personalization effect. 
Clarity is a process on your personalization which brings out more of the original details and tonal quality of the sound back in as you move the slider more to the right. This can be quite a personal preference. If you move it all to the way to the right, you might have a little bit less of a spatial experience, but you'll have a little bit more of some of the original details and transients of the sound. To best hear this effect, I recommend listening with some something with a lot of high frequency transients like vocals or a snare. Those details in the sound and complexity in the high frequencies will help you hear the difference in the clarity slider. Below we have a left-right balance slider. In case you're feeling perceptually that the stereo field in a particular studio isn't perfectly aligned for you, I recommend listening with something that's panned dead center and you can adjust this to what sounds just right to you. Below that is the minimum phase response. This allows you to hear a higher quality of the phase response of your personalized profile. So if you're a super audiophile, you might enjoy listening to that by engaging it. If you look over to the right, you'll notice there's some links here to the socials for the different studios to learn more about them. There's also studio information and these two pages here give you different views and more information about the artists and the studios that you're listening to. Up at the top here is your personal profile information. You can add or remove a user and you can submit a new image. For some people, the first image that they submit may not sound amazing, and we recommend to try another image and see if you get an improvement. A lot of times things like lighting or the angle of your head, which you might not have noticed at first, can actually affect the quality of your experience. So if you're not quite sure, go ahead and try another image and see if it improves. If you're loving the way that Immerse Virtual Studio is sounding, go ahead and click on the Activate button. The Buy Now button takes you to the Embody store. Complete your purchase with the same email address as you logged into the software and it'll automatically be updated. If you purchase a license from the third party website, enter it here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and can't wait to hear what you create with Immerse Virtual Studio. Start your free trial by downloading from the Embody website or clicking on the link in the description below. Happy mixing!